Good morning, everybody. And we have our first signing two days into July, and it is done. It's one that was reported on Friday, and Liam Delap is in on a season long loan from Manchester City. He is on that flight to Istanbul this morning, ready for the pre season camp where. You know, we'll be playing Galatasaray out there and we'll be playing Hatay Spore out there before coming back in about a week, 10 days time to play Grimsby. And I'm really excited. It was met, the rumour, with a lot of apprehension on Hull City Twitter, but I don't quite get why. He's young. He's had a great upbringing. Racine has said that himself in his statement about the signing. He's had a great upbringing at Man City. He's worked under Pep Guardiola, for goodness sake. He's, he's got to have something about him for him to be so highly rated there. He's been involved in Premier League winning teams. And I, like I say, I'm excited. When Rossini basically confirmed that we were moving away from Aaron Connolly, I wasn't you know, best please, because I thought I, it wasn't a muscular injury, so I'd still like to see more of him, see what he can do. But I knew he'd have other targets in mind. And Delap on loan to complement Estupinian and Tete, I think that is, I think that's a remarkable, remarkable addition. We'll read the statement, then we'll talk a little bit more about his career. So the statement reads, Hull City are delighted to announce the signing of forward Liam Delap on a season-long loan from Premier League champions Manchester City. The 20-year-old will become the 20-year-old becomes the Tigers' first recruit ahead of the 23-24 season and will link up with the senior squad for the pre-season trip to Turkey. The highly rated striker had two championship loan spells last season, spending the first half of the campaign with Stoke City and the second half at Preston North End. The, pre the Pacey frontman has represented Pep Guardiola's men six times across four competitions, playing twice in the Premier League and FA Cup, once in the EFL Cup and Champions League. Winchester-born De Lapp netted on his first team debut in an EFL Cup win over AFC Bournemouth in September 2020 and helped, England young and helped England's youngsters win the Euro Under-19 Championships. He joined Man City from Derby County in 2019 and was named the PL2 Player of the Year after scoring 24 goals during Man City's development squads 2021, 2020-21 title winning season. Liam Rossini said, I'm absolutely delighted that Liam is coming here. We've fought off a lot of competition from other championship clubs and clubs around Europe. He's someone I've known and been aware of for a long time. Liam completely fits into the way we play. He's got outstanding physical attributes and is a great finisher. He's got freak speed, is aggressive and can run in behind, which is one of the areas we want to address. He's someone the fans will really enjoy watching. He's had an amazing education and upbringing at Manchester City. In the right team that plays to his strengths, he can be a real asset and I believe he'll be a real asset for us moving forward. Yeah, wow. Well, um... We've just got a signing done. Come on! It's going to be a big week this week because we play Galatasaray on Wednesday. The kit has to be done either Monday or Tuesday, surely. If not, Wednesday morning. Um, yeah, then. Not, not quite sure what else could happen. We've obviously got the links to Ruben Vinagre. But, yeah, we could be in for a busy, busy week. But obviously, I've got written down some notes here. That 2021 PL2 season, that the statement said about 20 appearances, 24 goals, 5 assists. That's 29 goal contributions in just 20 games. And then the following season, he played only 10 times in the PL2, but got 8 goals. And, you know, he knows where the back of the net is, but just perhaps struggled to reach it in his first full year out on loan at senior level for... Stoke in the first half of the season, he played 23 times in all competitions, scored three goals for Preston, 15 appearances and one goal. But what really struck me about Liam Delaf, I've just dropped my pen and drawn on myself, that's good, isn't it? Um, but what struck me about Liam was, well, when we watched him at the MKM for Preston and Stoke, he was quite heavily involved in the build-up play. And, you know, he was he was a real threat in terms of, pulling defenders out and getting on the ball deeper 
at times. And yeah, I think he'll be a real asset for us. I think he'll be a real, real asset for us. He's been called up for England at under 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and under 20 levels, winning the Euros with the under 19s. And he made two appearances at the Under-20 World Cup in the summer for England. He was in that squad with Xavier Simons and former Tigers loanee Harvey Vale as well. I think, like I say, I think he'll be a brilliant addition. And, you know, I said it in Transfer Talk yesterday, the people on Twitter doubting him and, you know, slagging him off before he'd even signed. There's, you know... There's a team of scouts, there's a team of, you know, net, there's a network of scouts that City have, be it Tan, be it the, the actual scouts, and then there's Tan, Lee Darnborough, Liam, Juss, Dawes. So they'll all know what they're doing and they will know better than us. Liam knows what he wants and he'll have identified targets to fit the roles that he wants to fill. But we've got a striker in. What could be next? Who knows? So hopefully we have a busy week, like I said. And thank you for watching. And Liam Delap is a whole city player.